the Disruptive Innovations Conference has turned into the go-to event for innovators in the clinical research space. Innovation's tough. The great thing about a conference like this is the, the similarity. I mean, it's really validating to hear folks facing the same challenges, the same ideas, and, and, and finding that common thread. When you talk about disruptive innovation, what does that really mean? It means applying new technologies to enable transformation of the business model. And what we haven't really done up until this point in time is taken a, a really close look at our business model. The conference forum started this program before many pharma companies created it as a discipline in their organizations. And as those companies have come online, organizing around innovation in clinical research as a discipline, as an area of focus, this is the event that they go to. So much about this conference has been the way that we need to radically change our mindset and how we can affect that radical mindset change in large traditional conservative organizations like ours. Innovation is more about our way of doing things in a different style, a different way. We have been doing things the same way we have been doing them 20 years ago. The environment around us has changed completely and it's our culture, our approach to things that really has to change. For most of us, this is an operational discipline it's not about the blue sky and just lots of clever slide decks. It's about identifying those new opportunities and actually finding a way to scale them within our organizations to make a true impact. So having, having colleagues, having partners that are in the same space, but maybe in a different chair with a different perspective, um, it, it's a power of synergy. The conference is an opportunity to see glimpses of disruptive innovation. We're seeing some really good examples identification of investigators, access to patients, uh, new technology applications. I came to the conference last year and was very happy to be invited back this year as a speaker and actually brought another colleague of mine from the Gates Foundation because I wanted to share uh, more broadly what I thought was a really exceptional venue for collaborating in exactly this area, disruptive innovation, learning from others, sharing ideas and making connections. I've been doing facilitation for brainstorming within my own teams for years. Mm -hmm. And I just learned two other ways to do it. You're going to face resistance anytime you try to do something new or different. I think the real value of collaborating is having somebody there with you to go on that journey together. We need collaboration across companies and collaboration with other stakeholders to come together to do this. We can't do this alone. We're not giving up any of our strategic advantage. What we're doing is we're just exchanging ideas just really for the benefit of, of ourselves and for everybody else. It's really going to take pharmaceutical companies with expansive pipelines together with our partners in academia, NGOs, patient organizations, investigators, to identify these solutions and then actually put them into practice. So many new solutions have been uh, brought together here and presented to the audience and I think it's up to us knowing that the solutions are out there to find ways uh, to put them together and uh, to create new business models and new approaches. What's at stake is really the development of novel therapies that will improve our patients' lives.